Happy Friday, everybody. Resale Rabbit here. It is the day of the week named after American fries. If you're not familiar with American fries, they're just like everything else America does. They're bigger, they're better, and they're smothered in butter. So anyways, have some eBay sales. It's a late start. It's like noon. Let me check the time. It's noon 15. I got a late start this morning. I slept in and um, then... My drain was clogged at home in the bathroom sink. It's been for a few days now. It's been bothering me. So I poured some Drano in it. And after I did that, I realized, oh, you need to wait half an hour and run hot water through it. I thought about just going to work, but I don't know if that's going to damage the pipes if I leave it like that all day. So I stayed home for another half hour. Anyways, now we're here. I just, I didn't just get here. I shipped out those orders from yesterday. If you recall, I didn't have time to ship them. I just pulled them. Uh, from later in the day yesterday. So I did that. I also had another sale last night. If you recall these, I had someone offer me a hundred bucks for them and I thought about taking it, but I figured, you know, let's just wait and see. I told them, you know, let's give it a few days and see what happens. Uh, they sold 170. They're not shipping too far. Uh, it's going to Wisconsin. So it's 170 plus tax. So ultimately it'll probably cost me like 10 bucks to ship through pirate ship. Um, that's pretty much the only update I have for you. Still have the paper goods. Those haven't sold yet. So let's start pulling orders. So I want to show you one of my favorite features in Pirate Ship. If you click ship and then just single label, you get this. You can actually paste the address. So I pull up Brett Favre's contact address. Uh, it's a PO box here in Green Bay for the Packers. If you copy that and then paste, it automatically populates all of the info there. You can do that with any address. Just copy and paste it. It's great for when someone pays you via PayPal and you want to ship through Pirate Ship. It's not like eBay where it links right in and you can ship it that way. You would copy and paste the address so it's easier than copying line by line. Name, then copy address, then copy city, then type in state, then copy zip code. It's all right there. Much easier. So it's just a cool little feature Pirate Ship has. I'm sure other systems have it too, but I wanted to point that out. So in yesterday's video, BBJYT asked to uh, get a better look at these purple chairs. I call these the Saved by the Bell chairs. They came out of a storage unit with a whole bunch of other cool furniture on it. I decided to keep these. I've got some other stuff that one of these days I'm going to set up my basement, probably when I buy a nicer house, and uh, deck it out in the 90s. These are a little more 80s, but they're neat. They came from uh, a designer furniture place in Houston. And the person who owned that storage unit paid a lot of money. It was like $40,000 for these, a stool, a dresser, and two or three other things. And um, sad story. They ended up uh, having some problems later in life with uh, family health issues and ended up losing her storage unit. But she made ninety grand a year at one point. And then when she lost her unit, she was living in her car. So very sad story. But... Anyways, that is what these look like, if you wanted to know. A buddy of mine has repeatedly offered me 500 bucks for both of them, and I've repeatedly turned him down because I think they are too cool. Although, they do need to get cleaned up a little bit. All right, so let's see what we got for sales. 28 sales for 510. First, we sold some of these Hawaiian pants. Uh, we're looking for a size 16. That's probably going to be these ones. Where's the tag? Right there, 16. And these sold for $18.99. Now we'll take a walk in here. We're looking for box 2A3. It's a Laura Geller Pink Dazzle. All right, I'm gonna need to bring this down here. Might it be that? No. How about this one? Nope. Over here. Nope. What about this one? This one doesn't say. So we'll come back to that one. Did I look at this one? I think so. So it must be this one. Oh, there we go. So the end of the box that that's taped. So I'm going to go through the other end. But the end of the box that would normally say it looks like it's damaged. Pink Dazzle. There we go. And this sold for, I want to say, $8.50. Next, we've got a mini stocking. 
right here, a snowman, a Star Wars snowman. Uh, this was purchased by Delicious Panda. You might recognize that name. Uh, with a note, it says, I'm a viewer of Delicious Panda, buying this as a birthday present for my friend. Could you write happy birthday on the package, please? But don't say who it's from. I'm gonna be stopping by. So I got interrupted, mail carriers here. So where was I? It says, um, I'm gonna be stopping at Craigslist Hunter's store soon, hopefully tomorrow on Saturday. So I'm gonna see if he'd let me say hey to you in his video, that'd be cool. So anyways, thanks Delicious Panda. I will get this mailed out. I also had a couple of returns come back here. Uh, this is that uh, remote, that wallet. So that's gonna get relisted. I don't know why they returned it. They were upset because it took a long time for it to get to them because post office briefly lost it. Um, and then this re was returned. The slip inside um, printed from eBay said so the return reason was just didn't like it. So that's probably just gonna get thrown away because there's no seal on it or anything to know that they didn't use it. Um, so let's go returns. It was actually a viewer uh, on the return details for the makeup. It says, hi, Rabbit. I'm sorry, but I need to return this. It's definitely not my color. Sorry about this. Uh, I'm still just going to throw it out because I don't know. If she explicitly said I haven't used it, maybe. But even then, I don't know. So I'm just going to toss it. And then um, the wallet, it said, was returned because it took him four weeks to be delivered. And um, so he just bought a different one understandable i shipped it out right away but the post office well, actually tim shipped it out right away that's how long ago this was but the post office has been kind of slow lately and then thirdly there was a laptop charger if you remember that generic off-brand when i sold um they said the model's right but it just doesn't fit his laptop so i refunded that this is the one thing i don't like about automatic returns i love automatic returns when someone returns something something just automatically proves it i don't need to go and do it um, I'm not one of those people that is anti-returns. I have free returns on all of my items. Even if you change your mind, I pay the return shipping. But um, anyways, that encourages more sales. So I might lose money here and there, but it rarely happens. I, I don't think I've ever gotten three returns in one day like that. Usually it's one or two a month. Anyways, um, the reason I don't like the automatic approval is because that charger is something I would have just thrown away. So that's probably something that I would just, here's a refund, don't bother sending the item back, and then I save the three bucks or whatever it costs to send it back. I won't do that on everything, um, just certain items. Like the, the makeup, I probably would have still had them return it because I don't want people to start you know, buying makeup and then not returning it, saying they just don't like it. Uh, but the charger is something that I probably would have. Um, anyways. It's something where I just make a decision on a case-to-case -case basis. Overall, it's still good because then I don't need to respond to these. Um, although I do wish the the um, return reason was sent in the email uh, where it says item returned or return approved or something like that. Uh, the, the, the only way to see it is to go through and find the return in eBay. Anyways, let's get to the next sale. Oh, and the reason they came in the door is because my padded flat rate mailers have arrived. I got the right amount this time. I'll be good for a little while. I also handed off all of the, I don't remember if I mentioned this, I handed off all of the um, items that I shipped out this morning. So it's less that I need to haul to the post office. So the next sale, I got 10 bucks for these shoes. They came on a Target pallet. My cost was 50 cents. For $17.99, I sold a two pack of these Office Depot sheet protectors. I sold one of these Shark sets with the apparently it's not a tail it's a fin on the back now we're going to come back here we got one c2 that's going to be right here this sold for 14.99 is jeff bezos shimmer and then a one c4 we sold a 20 watt light bulb and those both sold for $14.99 each. Next, we've got a viewer sale, the Shark Set for $12.99. This sold to John, who says, Hey, Rabbit, thanks for your videos. I finally gained the knowledge and confidence to start selling on eBay. My sales just hit 5,000 year to date. Thanks again, and keep up the good work. John, I appreciate the sale, and I'm glad your eBay is growing. 
5,000 is uh, nothing to take lightly. That's, that's a lot of money, uh, especially if you're just doing it as a side hustle or a hobby. Um, and if you're doing it professionally, it's the first stepping stone to uh, making a full-time income. All right, next, we've got a pair of size medium pants. That's a medium. It says this is the last one, uh, but I've got another one right here, so I may need to relist that, unless they bought a quantity of two. No, they bought one for $12.99, so I will double check to see if I sold any more, and if not, I will relist the extra. We've got a viewer sale here. We sold a Boheme for $9.98. And that sold to Brittany, who says, Hey, Rabbit, loyal viewer, I appreciate your humor. Thanks for making great videos. Thanks for making great purchases, Brittany. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to do two sales in one here. I've got two viewer sales. They each bought one of these. These are moving so fast. I listed these the other day. I think I had 21 of them. I'm down to 10. Um, so the first one was purchased by Tony. He says, hey, Rabbit, really enjoy your channel as well as your sense of humor. My daughter and I watch your videos every day and enjoy everything you do. I'm an eBay seller as well and I've learned a lot from your videos. My daughter, Elizabeth, absolutely loves Baby Shark and watching your videos. Could you please give her a shout out? I'd appreciate it. Also would love a signed object to hang in my shipping department. The strangest thing that you can find would be great. You and Mrs. Rabbit stay safe. Well, Tony and Elizabeth, I appreciate the sale and hope you enjoy them. So a random object, you say. A signed copy of a bootleg version of Fantastic Four. I'm assuming that's on this. This came out of a storage unit, so if you're going to watch it, watch it before you watch it in front of your children, because it, you never know. Uh, but anyways, um, that's about as random as it gets. So I've got like five boxes of DVDs that came out of a storage unit that I'm going through to pull stuff from my own collection, and this happened to be in it. Uh, so normally I just throw these away. So this is about as random as it gets. I believe he said, the strangest thing you can find would be great. A, a, a bootleg copy of Fantastic Four is about as strange as it gets. Now, the other one, remember I sold two of those to two different viewers there, was purchased by Heather, who says, hi, this is for a birthday, which is on May 10th. If you could bump up the shipping to priority so he gets it sooner than that, it would be fantastic. Just let me know and I'll be glad to pay it. Send me the invoice or request of money on PayPal. If not, I understand. Love watching your videos, though I usually watch them at one and a half speed uh, because you are a slow talker and I have ADD. Uh, but I look forward to them, especially now that I'm stuck at home bored out of my mind. Thanks, Heather. Uh, Heather, it is May 1st, so I don't think we need to upgrade shipping. You'll still get it before 510. Uh, I'm seeing that it's not in international sales, so you'll probably get it the 5th, maybe, somewhere in that area. But I do appreciate the sale, and I'll get it shipped out today for you. Next sale to Deanna, a viewer. She didn't say she was a viewer, but I recognized the name. Uh, she's the one that sent me that Brett Favre card the other day. This shower caddy, to be completely honest, I don't even know why Tim listed this. Um, it sold for $17.99. And if I recall, she just lives one state over, so shipping won't be too bad. But seriously, why did Tim list this? This is the most random thing uh, to put on eBay. But I, I guess it sold, so... Probably get a couple bucks after shipping for it. So thanks, Deanna. I appreciate it. Uh, next, we sold... Boy, this is getting redundant. Let's see. What do you guys think sold? Uh, would it be a receiver for Motorola walkie-talkies? No, that's not it. How about a pair of Dickies pants? No, I don't think that's it. Oh, here it is. Ink. No, it wasn't ink. It was a birthday shark set for $12.99. Next, we sold a pack of Learn Italian playing cards. These sold to Randy, who says, Viewer here, my wife and I watch your channel every night before bed. Her birthday is May 2nd. Would you tell her happy birthday? Her name is Nicole. We look forward to ordering more from you. Well, today's the first, and uh, my videos typically go up the next day. So, although it's Friday, usually my Friday video goes up Monday. We'll see if I can get this one up tomorrow. So anyways, Nicole, happy birthday or happy belated birthday, depending on uh, what night you're watching this. I appreciate the sale, and I hope on your next birthday, you are able to say thank you for the happy birthday wishes in Italian. Next, here's a piece of apparel with no item location. So I'm assuming it's going to be in one of these two. It is a Zumba bra, size medium. Is there a size on here? 
it's uh, medium. All right. I got really sad. It says the color is smoke, and that reminds me of the turkey that was once the mayor of Eshwabanon. Not even kidding. Uh, maybe a mile down the road from Lambeau Field on Lombardi Avenue, although I think it's considered Hazel, but the road changes names. Anyways, there was a turkey that hung out there and would chase cars and terrorize people, and it was amazing. And it was there for, oh, I don't know, six months or so. His name was Smoke. He was a smoked turkey. It was my favorite part of the news every day. Uh, anyways, there's like a, there's videos. If you look up Smoke the Turkey, I'm sure you'll find it on YouTube. There's videos of the turkey chasing children down the street or running after cars. It was amazing. Uh, until some, I don't know a clean word for this. I'll just say a-hole. Uh, tried to ram the bird with his car, and uh, then the DNR came and took smoke away, which is sad. Uh, but anyways, it, this was sold to, after that long rant, it was sold to Lori, who says, I'm a long-time viewer. I was just watching your latest video and decided to check out what else you have for sale. Your videos are helping keep me sane during this pandemic. Stay safe. Thanks, Lori. I hope you enjoy that, and we'll get it shipped out for you. Next, we've got... Going down my list. Eh, I got a whole bunch of cosmetics coming up, but they're scattered throughout. I know, I know. Get a highlighter. Highlight the ones on a printed sheet of paper. I'm not going to do that. Uh, we sold two items in one G2. We sold the last Venetia. And in one C, what is this? One C2, I think. We sold Entice. It is not the last Entice. It looks like we've got a couple in there. So the Venetia sold for $17.99. The Entice sold to a viewer who bought a pair of pants to go with it. Let's grab those. I'm going to put these on the table here. And the pants are going to be on Z3 right here. Size 16W. Is that going to be these? 16W. They are size 16 George W. Bush. You can see right there. So anyways, this and the Entice uh, sold to Charlotte, who says, I've been watching you for about two years now. Enjoy watching all the videos. I agree, Pete, Craigslist Hunter is the bomb. Please stay safe and God bless Charlotte. Thanks, Charlotte. I appreciate the sale. I appreciate the support. And I agree, Craigslist Hunter is the bomb. So I'll get these shipped out for you. Looks like Charlotte also bought one other item. It's the size 14 in these pants. The ones that were incorrectly listed sold, and then the order had to be canceled, if you remember the other day. And Charlotte spent $19.99 uh, on these. A viewer named Abraham bought a two-pack of these Office Depot sheep protectors. He says snoozed on the box. I'm assuming that means he missed out on buying a whole box of these. But he did get a two-pack, and there's only one two-pack left, which I have a feeling is going to be sold before this video goes online next next we want to go to 2c3 which oh perfectly poreless putty protector there should be three of them in here and i did not get the color but there's a ton of mediums but there's a ton of deeps there's only three tans so i'll double check but i have a feeling this is what sold Oh, almost got that in on time. Uh, sold for 30 bucks for all three of them. And yes, tan is the correct color. Now we've got another sale. We're going up to this. Try to do this with one hand here. Hey, I didn't make a huge mess. So I sold a single one of these. I didn't even know Tim had these listed as single units. I thought it was only a quantity of seven. So I might need to redo my quantities from when I relisted that. Uh, this was purchased by Jennifer for eight bucks. She says, thanks, Rabbit, one of my favorite channels. Stay healthy to you and Mrs. Rabbit, Jenny. Jenny, I appreciate the sale, and I hope you... Now we've got someone who purchased three items. We're starting with 1C1. It's the, the ruby, the chicken. There it is. All right. Also bought two packs... Of these blue and gray underwear. It says I've only got two left, so I'm gonna have to see if I have any more in back stock to replenish that one. Uh, these seem to be the most popular ones. So for these two and the makeup, uh, sold for a total of 
I still haven't put these away. It looks like this is the closest I have, also size large, but it's not the long version and it's the wrong color. So I got two of these left and that's it. Another viewer sale here. We sold another one of these, $12.99 and it sold to Dean, who is a viewer. He says, hey, Rabbit, I hope you and the wife are safe. Seen this and had to get it for my little nephew. Gas out here is $239. Got to love California. Well, California's coming here. It's getting warm outside and our gas is climbing. We're up to a buck forty-nine now. Now, for $34.99, we sold two motherhood maternity dresses. Yes, there is some listed. Tim got some of it listed. That box right there is full uh, before we shut down. Uh, this is... A motherhood maternity brand, $54.98 is retail. And this is a Jessica Simpson brand, $69.98 is retail. And they sold for, what did I say, $34 something? So keep an eye out. We do have, I don't plan on listing anymore for a while, but we do have motherhood maternity stuff listed. Now for $26.49, we sold three items. First is the frozen Christmas stocking. Second is a pair of these Asics socks. And third is going to be in here. It's not the booty. Uh, it's the belly. There it is. The belly fanny pack. Let's see if we've got one that's still in the package. Or if that, that might be the last one. So those three... Oh, drop the socks. Those three items. Yep, I looked at the listing. That was, in fact, the last of the belly fanny packs. We still have some booty ones left. And last sale for 25 bucks. I would assume it's over here. There we go. Oh, losing stuff. The, why can't, why is everything coming off the shelf with this? Hold on. And there goes something. Let's, let's reorganize a little bit. I still have this. Remember when I found this? I listed it for 500 because it was selling for like 50 used and there's nobody selling them new. Uh, I think I've lowered the price a couple of times since then, but still hasn't moved. Probably a long tail item, but I think I have like 50 cents in it. Uh, so anyways, the the Architects of Golf, a large book, sold for 25 bucks. Uh, it's got an Amazon label, so it probably came on an Amazon pallet. Um, that's about all I have to say about it. So that is today's eBay sales. I'm going to get these shipped out. We'll see if we have anything else come through. So, did a little bit of cleaning, nothing too much. Um, let's get the these last couple out that came through in the past couple of hours. It's only three o'clock, but it's so nice out. I'm thinking I might take the rest of the day off. Three sales for an extra 40 bucks. First, we've got a viewer sale. And it's going to be one of these, $12.99. I had to bring more bubble mailers down. I'm getting low, I've got this box and one more, so I should probably put it in order soon. These all actually came out of Yonkers when they closed. They're trying to get 90 bucks each. I ended up getting them for like five bucks each on their last day. Anyways, this sold to Gustavo who says, good morning, we love your videos. We watch them all the time. Was wondering if you could please give a shout out to my son Moses who turns four this Sunday. And my daughter Natalie turns 14 also Sunday. Uh, that must be fun for them sharing a birthday. Uh, thank you so much for all the great info you always provide and amazing videos. Blessings. Stay safe. Appreciate the sale, Gustavo. And shout out to Moses and Natalie. Happy birthday, Sunday. We'll get this shipped out for you. Next, for $15.99, people are still preparing for winter. Sold one of these base layer pants. And lastly, we're looking for a six and a half right there. It's a little jammed up but that is it these came on the target pallets so i am going to get these shipped out and probably go home and uh, enjoy the weather while sitting inside because that's all we can really do right now there's nothing to do outside i've hiked like every park and trail and i'm getting sick of hiking so we're all shipped out that is it for the day hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next week